Hey guys, how's it going? Ash here. Now we've got some interesting information on issue 26 of GoGo Go Power Rangers. This is all thanks to Boom Studios and Power Rangers now for reporting on this. Boom Studio does what they usually does when a brand new issue is out. You're going to find out what's going to happen two issues ahead. So this will contain minor spoilers for the plot details of issue 26. If you don't want to be spoiled, click away right now and we are going to read the description for issue 26 coming out in December. So Necessary Evil continues as Jason begins to form his new team, the Omega Rangers. He struggles to keep the truth from Trini and Zack, and meanwhile on another planet, Tommy has reached the Tower of Light, but is he truly worthy of becoming the White Ranger? So Necessary Evil is still continuing and we're going to be seeing Jason forming the Omega Rangers. The Omega Rangers have become extremely popular since they were introduced in issue 41 all those months ago. So fans are really excited to see where how this team was formed. I'm really excited to see how the Omega Rangers are formed. And we're going to be seeing Trini and Zack join the Omega Rangers where they'll find out the secret that Jason's forming his own team. And that's going to be really exciting to see because I want to see how they form the Omega Rangers and they come up with the whole peace conference thing to tell the other Rangers. Meanwhile, on the Tommy side of things, Tommy is going to go to the Tower of Light. Now, this is a good way to fill in the gaps which on the TV show, Tommy just became the White Ranger. Jason David Frank disappeared for a few episodes and when Tommy returned, he was the White Ranger. So this is a good way to fill in the gaps. You see Tommy going on a journey to a whole new planet called the Tower of Light, which I feel like has been mentioned before in the show. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. I can't really remember. I mean, 25 years of Power Rangers. This all sounds new to me. This all sounds familiar to me. Maybe we've seen it before, maybe we haven't. But I do like the idea of Tommy going, going on his own journey to become the White Ranger. That's really exciting, and I can't wait to see that in issue 26 because we haven't seen Tommy ever since issue 21 I believe it is or issue 22 since he last left to go on his own little journey he packed his bags and left I think it was in issue 21 was when he packed his bags and left because he felt bad about being a ranger with his powers going away because it was after um green no more so we're going to be filling in those gaps of Tommy becoming the white ranger which is going to be a really interesting journey for Tommy the god I wonder how Ryan is going to handle that that's going to be a fun thing to see but if there's one thing I really, really want to see in the comics of Go Go later down the line, and I get the feeling we will see this, I get the feeling in future issues we will see this, and that is Jason, Trini, and Zack picking their successors to be the next Power Rangers, because we all know that the Stone Canyon trio became Rangers later down the line, but I'm hoping that we get an issue where Jason, Trini, and Zack actually decide on those Rangers becoming Rangers down the line, those characters becoming Rangers down the line, instead of them being picked because it was convenient at the time. Yeah, I know in the show they did a few good deeds here and there, but I would like to see, like, Jason, Trini, and Zack, they're, like, watching on the sidelines, and they're like watching from maybe space while they're doing the Omega Ranger stuff, training or something like that. And that's how they pick their successes later down the line. That's how I want to see it go down. Because the comics can be its own continuity and they can change the way how they were chosen to be Rangers. Like it can be Jason that actually chose Rocky to be the Red Ranger the whole time instead of Zordon picking him. Like that's how they can maybe do it. Who knows how it's going to go down. But I would like to see that. The original Free Rangers picking the Stone Canyon trio later down the line. That'd be a really cool thing that I hope we get to see in the comics. Anyway guys, that's my rambles on issue 26 of Go Go Power Rangers. The cover looks really cool. I really do like this cover we're getting. The main cover looks really freaking cool. I'm definitely going to pick that up if I can find it in my local comic book store. I'll definitely be picking up that cover. And October is going to be a big month for Power Ranger comics. We've got the Psychopath issue 24 of Go Go coming out and issue 44 of Mighty Morphin. So it's going to be a big month for Power Ranger Comics this month. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here, if you want to hear my thoughts and review on those upcoming issues and graphic novels of Power Rangers this month. So be sure to stick around if you want to see that stuff and I'll see you guys around. Just take care of yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.